How's it going lads and welcome to the Sunday News with New Clues. I've lots to talk about in today's video so here's a quick look at what we have coming up. Today we have some great Oculus Quest hand tracking games, the Quest Update 17, the one year anniversary of the Quest and Rift S, some gaming news with Epic Games releasing games for free, FNAF VR and finally some more leaks on the HP Reverb G2 which yes I will make yet another video on. But before we get into the video, please do consider subscribing or leaving a like if you enjoy my video. We are getting very close to 50 subscribers, which is so good, so thanks a lot for that. And now, on with the video. So the first thing I will have a look at in today's video is new Quest hand tracking games. Now of course we had Hand Physics Lab, which for me was just such an incredible experience with great features, things to use hand tracking with, uh, and that was a really fun experience. But it if you don't want to use side quests, but there are now some official games on the quest store starting to support hand tracking. The game I, I liked most was Waltz of the Wizard. It is in its early stages so it is not perfect and I did find it to be a slightly strange experience but it was very fun. The feel of picking up items and casting spells with your hands is truly awesome. The game was decent anyway but it is really enhanced with the hand tracking. Waltz of the Wizards um, also has implemented a new traversal feature where you point your hands as guns and then you choose where you want to go, uh, which I've, I found slightly tricky, but it seems like a nice way of, you know, not using the controllers to walk. It does have a few problems, but again is in its early stages. Now as I said in my previous video, hand tracking will not be a replacement for the controllers we have now. The reason being that lots of the big games like Pavlov or you know those sort of first person shooter style ones are just not plausible to be used without controllers because they're built with them in mind. That said, it is a really nice feature and I would love to see more. Um, other hand tracking games of course you've got, uh, I think it's a mysterious tale of the stolen pets, uh, I remember playing that, that's very fun, um, but yeah they will do a bit more on that probably in another video. Um, but next up we have the Oculus Quest Update 17. The Quest Update 17 um, is giving a host of new features, but here are some of the best. With the update came a lot of cool things, like how hand tracking is not an experimental feature anymore and is just in the main bit. This of course is a small thing but is just is quite a nice thing to see, um, because obviously it's a good feature. Another thing is how you have the ability to turn off the little red circle when you are recording. Personally I prefer to have it and I know a lot of people do as well because it just lets you know you are recording and not you know rambling away with nobody there um, but I'm sure lots of people wanted that uh, to be a feature. Um, of course you've got a menu revamp as well but I'm not going to go into much more detail on it because I'll, yeah, I might do another video um, but that sort of idea. And BMF made a really good one on it, so I'll put that on the right hand corner. But watch my video first, it's better. It's really not, but um, yeah, just it's in the top right hand corner. <laughs> Next on my list of things to talk about is Epic Games releasing free games like GTA 5 and Civilization 6. Epic have been selling GTA 5 and Civilization as free, and more great games are to come as well. But if you haven't picked up GTA 5 yet, then I'm afraid it's too late to get it for free. That said, Civilization 6 is now on the free list, so that's it's still a good game. Great game for some. I find it incredibly boring, but um, lots of people like it. Now the reason I want to look at it was the possible leap games that will be available next. Now the next games to be free on Epic Store are the Borderlands, the Handsome's uh, Collection, and Ark Survival Evolved. Now I did source this data from an incredibly sketchy website that was probably stealing all of my personal data, but I had NordVPN, no I wouldn't do that to you, um, I'm not that much of a monster. Also they don't care about me, uh, but yeah I don't know how good the information is, uh, I wouldn't take it, you know, as that's what's going to happen, but it's highly plausible, so just roll with it. Um, now, if you have made it this far, then thank you very much for watching, uh, but don't go, there is more. Um, I just want to say a bit, no, quick thank you to everyone as we are really close to 50 subscribers. That's really great. The last video did ridiculously well, 
Um, I'm sorry to the loyal subscribers who've seen a lot of that recently, but I'm gonna have to make another. Um, but yeah, we'll see that soon. And now back with the video. Just recently, the Oculus Quest and the Rift S had their one year anniversary. And for their anniversary, they have been having a lot of sales on their games. So if you've been thinking about getting a game on or two on the store, now is the time. I'll put a little link in the top right corner uh, to my video of the best Quest games. Uh, so yeah, you should really get some of the deals are ridiculous now. Um, but yeah, it's the perfect time to buy some. And the final thing I'll have a look at is the um, FNAF VR news. Oh dear. Yeah, it's it's not going well, is it? Uh, we don't have any more, which is really strange. And I'm sure I was so confused because I was sure the Steel Wool were gonna release it by now. Um, I thought it was most probably coming out in a couple of weeks in the past news with Nucleus. Um, now it hit. We still have nothing. I've been furiously checking Twitter and Reddit every day looking for anything from Steel Wool Studios or any leaks. Um, but they're being very quiet still. But yeah, it's, I'm very confused. Uh, yeah. Well, that's it for this week's news. Sorry, I wasn't out of Sunday. Uh, my internet connection crashed, and I lost all the files, so I had to re-record everything. That was also the reason why well, it's a bit shorter than usual. Um, sorry about that. Um, I did have a bit of fun yesterday with you guys with some live streaming. Um, I definitely will do more of that. It's really fun. I like uh, uh, talking with you guys, uh, but I don't know what to do with it. Should I just play some games. I mean, do leave a comment because I'm new to it. I don't really know what to do with it, so I would be interested to see what you want me to do. Um, as I said earlier, we are very close to 50 subscribers, and I do want to celebrate celebrate that as I'm impatient and I want to celebrate something um, because we're quite a way from uh, 100. Um, but if you have any suggestions of what I should do, then leave a comment below. That's it for this news with Nucleus. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for more of the latest VR news. Thanks lads!